Hey folks, today I came across something on Twitter that really frustrated me. Okay, everything on Twitter frustrates us, but this was related to data visualization. And usually when I come across something data related that frustrates me, I take a deep breath and I just keep scrolling. Uh, but this time I decided to do something about it. I'm talking about a graphic by a couple guys over at National Geographic. That's right, my childhood heroes. Uh, but this time I was kind of frustrated with what they had done. I'm talking about this uh, article snippet, which appears on the National Geographic website, and apparently in the magazine as well, um, which I really hope that they didn't put this graphic in the magazine, because what do we see in this graphic when we scroll down? Obviously nobody reads the text, right? Normal human beings look at the colors and the lines first, and you see this line where the US is kind of generally following the trend, and then suddenly goes up, and then suddenly falls all the way down, um, overtaken by its presumably other countries. Now, what is actually going on in this graph? I mean, they kind of took a life expectancy chart and flip and, and split it in half and wedged the health expenditure chart in there, but they preserved the lines. They, they kept the lines as continuous, which violates, um, you know, every intuition of what a line chart is supposed to be, right? Oh, oh, we typically use line charts to graph either things that are literally continuous variables like temperature over time or things that are actually sort of discrete but we can kind of uh, think of them as continuous variables like um, annual revenue or something like that. Here it's like what is the variable that is being graphed? Now the the black section is health expenditure and it's a very simple and actually quite effective chart showing that between 1980 and 2015 health expenditure in the US uh, rose to way above the levels that we see in other developed nations. The problem is this this stuff off to the sides here. It's reasonable to think of healthcare spending as a continuous variable that can be represented by a line going from 2000 to 8500. What about this next section? The line is going from 8500 down to 78 and a half and it's of what exactly? Well Nothing. It's nonsensical. It just doesn't, it's completely meaningless. Um, and yet, we're supposed, the, the reader is supposed to think that the United States is uh, quote-unquote decreasing or going down in some sense. I mean, okay, to their credit, they used the black box to indicate the discontinuity, right? But this subtle indication of discontinuity is completely overridden by the fact that the line literally keeps going as if nothing happened, as if we totally didn't just switch units and enter a different dimension. Another, I mean, you could see this as um, some sort of really abstract, advanced form of graph that kind of uh, shows the shapes of countries in a four-dimensional parameter space, and and I guess the point is the United States is different, but, but the, the fact is when most people see this, they're going to interpret it as a line graph, and they're going to be quite confused um, in the manner that I just described. So anyway, I've complained enough about this chart. I decided to just make my own version of it. And literally all I did was I took the OECD data, which is available on their website in a very nice uh, portal, and uh, I basically just took this black box, slid it over to the right, and put the other part of life expectancy uh, off to the left side, and I think it's equally as effective in showing that the U.S. is an outlier because on the left-hand side, we have a huge increase in health expenditure, which is obvious from the graph. And on the right-hand side, we have a not-so-great increase in life expectancy, uh, which is equally as obvious. So in about 30 minutes, I, starting from scratch, gathered the data and created an exact copy of their chart, except um, instead of being sort of semiotic garbage, it actually makes total sense and is very consistent and not misleading or confusing in any way, but is hopefully just as effective. So, hey, if you work at National Geographic and you're watching this, tell them to hire me because apparently I'm good enough. <laughs> anyway, I don't mean to sound too ranty or preachy about this. I just care strongly, you know, especially when we're talking about uh, organizations like National Geographic. Um, I just want to show people a better example, hopefully, with this video. 
I guess starting now, if I see examples like this that I can sort of easily fix, um, I'll probably do like another five minute video on it. Hopefully those will be helpful and educational for people. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Bye.